back to your home and again Ewan ko, anong tawag natin dito? Uh, welcome back to our channel Recently, merong survey If people of our country will agree to same-sex marriage yeah. So this is a very controversial issue So, uh, maring may mga ma-offend or may mga mangbash uh, Bala na So, same-sex marriage What is our stand as a church? No. The only answer is no. And why why should we say no to same-sex marriage? Yes, there are people na na mo offend. Maraming tao ang tututol. Siyempre, they want, yes, they want same-sex marriage to be legalized in our country. Then again, uh, umbabalikan natin, our country is identified as a Christian country. Dahil ang bansa natin, isa sa pinakamain, Uh, identity ng bansa natin is being a Christian country. We should hold on. We should take what is in the Bible, what is in the Word of God, and apply it on our lives. So, ano bang nakasulat? Maraming nakasulat all throughout the Bible all about this. But, we want to focus on Ephesians chapter 5, verse 31 to 33. Anong sabi doon? As the scriptures say, a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife. And the two are united into one. Again, a man leaves his parents and is joined to his wife. And the two are united into one. And actually, verse 31, this is quoted from Genesis chapter 2. Kinuha lang niya yun doon, kinot ulit. And then, kinulit to put emphasis that this is the design of God. Umpisa pa lang ng Genesis nung ginawa niya yung tao, this is the design of God that there is marriage as long as the creation, kung gano'ng katagal ang creation, ganun din katagal yung design ng marriage. That a man should be joined to his wife. So, ang isang lalaki ay ikakasal sa isang babae. And he should leave his parents. So, shout out naman dyan sa mga mag-asawang nakatira pa sa mga parents niya. <laughs> Uh, joke lang. So, again, uh, a man should be united with a woman. That is the original design of the Lord. And what more is evident in verse 32? This is a great mystery. Yes, it's a great mystery. But it is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. So marriage is an illustration of Jesus Christ and the church. The unity of Christ and the church. Kung paano ba magmahal si Jesus Christ sa kanyang simbahan, ganun din dapat magmahal ang isang lalaki sa kanyang asawa. Actually, there are so many verses about that. Instructions all throughout the Bible that a man should love his wife as Christ loved the church. Sacrificial love. Since marriage should illustrate divine love, the divine unity of Christ and the church. So we should conform to the original design of the Lord. And ano pang sabi lang sa verse 33? So again I say, each man must love his wife as he loves himself. And the wife must respect her husband. Inulit niya, inulit ng, ng writer of Ephesians. Uh, he put emphasis that each man must love his wife. Each man must love his wife as he loves himself. And the wife must respect her husband. So again, the design of marriage is for a man and a woman to be joined together in unity, in sacred unity, and become the illustration of the love of God, the love of Christ for his church. So, Ayun yung purpose na marriage. Actually, that's the very purpose of marriage. To illustrate Christ and the church. All throughout, again, kalina ko pa all throughout the Bible, babasa natin, what's the, the design, what's the purpose, ano ba talaga si marriage, ano pa. But then again, we just want to speak out why we should say no. Why we say no to same-sex marriage. And again, I don't mean to offend anyone. This is our stand as the church and as leaders of the word. Again, if you want to know more, you can read your own Bible and if you have questions, you can ask, you can comment down below, you can message us on our social media. Again, like, share, subscribe. Peace to all of you. God bless you.